I had the pleasure of meeting Adrian about six years ago, and she was she was just a devastating woman. I mean, her knowledge of the being an activist in the environment it was unbelievable. Her knowledge. I thought she was a she should have been a private detective. I mean, some yeah. the knowledge of that woman would come to me when, or she'd be in the middle of an investigation at the federal center and call me. I'm in Littleton. I felt like an ambulance driver or something having to get there. It'd be here in 20 minutes, okay? So I'm rushing to get there. But uh, when I started with Denver Water in the 1974, I came among the uh, problems that Adrian was running to with, uh, with the Friendly Hills incident where a lot of babies died during that era because of the poisons in the water. Martin Marietta and Denver Water were both guilty at the time. But Martin Marietta took the blame. Denver Water had us bury all the toxins at Foothills Pump Station. During this time, I left Denver Water and I, be, I turned to become a whistleblower. And there's no rights out there as a whistleblower, I'll tell you that right now. It doesn't matter. Adrian done extensive work on this. I joined her. I had never learned so much from an activist as I did her. And I became a member of the Rocky Mountain Peace and Justice Center in Boulder, and I got to meet Adrian. And to my dismay, during this time, I didn't even know Adrian was investigating Friendly Hills era. There was about 12 children who died, dozens of people who had leukemia, cancer, brain tumors, and Adrian was defending them. During this time, I didn't even know Adrian existed. So I had the pleasure of meeting her through the Rocky Mountain Peace and Justice Center, and we worked together along side by side for six years. There's so much political corruption in Denver and suburbs because Denver Water pays people off. It's the most corrupt uh, utility company in Colorado. I mean, public service, nobody comes close to the corruption Denver Water does. <laughs> they, they fired engineers who are here today, Jim Phillips and Bruce Field for bringing this forward. Once the gentleman met me and he got in touch with them, they fired them for wanting to bring out the fraud. And this entails about $100 million a year that the taxpayers and the city workers are taxed. And we have tried till today, and in Adrian's name, we're going to go forward with this. I have 11 gentlemen besides myself that were, two are dying. And to my knowledge, I know that we have uh, six spots, hot spots in Denver and in Foothills. And what I call it is, is a, it's a toxic burial ground. We tried to bring this out in Foothills area, but what they done is Denver Water set former employees. They didn't announce retirees, so that was a slap to our face. We were retirees. We were bringing out information to the state that they could use it. We went to Hickenlooper, we went to, uh, uh, we went to the governor, we went to everybody. The EPA is getting paid off. They get donations from the Denver Water Report every year, $500,000. Uh, the FBI is included in this. Federal Judge uh, Adrian was such a strong believer in her work, they awarded her a settlement only for a federal judge to come in years later and deny her of that. Of the work she's worked all these years for, Adrian never asked for a dime from us. Everything, I mean the inks for printing, the, the knowledge of going down to the city and county and countless hours working with this. But I know where she's at now and she's in heaven, she's a wonderful woman. And during that time, I had the pleasure of meeting Irwin and Sarah and watching them grow up. And she was such a dedicated mother. All I ever heard about was her daughters. My daughter's this, my daughter's that. And she was just, you know, I remember in the, a little earlier, one of the gentlemen was saying, and one of the ladies that they remember when Adrian would have a, a drink now and then. And then her southern accent would come up. Oh my God. <laughs> If I was at a meeting with her, we wait. She she can't be there till the place closed because she was just so full of knowledge, and I love her for that. I have an, a woman with me today too uh, that is part of this uh, lawsuit we have against Emma Water, and her child was born with a birth defect too, due to this fact that she's worked around some asbestos, uh, plutonium, radiation, asphalt. These are dug all over the streets in Denver. There's even a spot downtown at the Rockies where we disposed of hazardous materials. Nobody knows about it. The FBI doesn't care. The EPA doesn't. And Denver Water is exempt from OSHA. That's what we're
we could never get them. Every time we got our lawyers or whatever we had, they were afraid of Denver Water. Adrian and me, it, it was like a, she made a promise to us, it's the last thing I do, I'm going to bring them down for you. But Adrian, we're going to continue in your name to do the same thing. But I just want to let you know that the engineers are here today too, and please feel free to talk to them later, Jim uh, Field and our Jim Phillips and Bruce Field. If you guys would please stand for me, please. Raise your hand. Okay, and then I have a, had made so many threats toward us, we couldn't talk to the news media. And thank God when we met Adrian, she introduced us to Heidi Hamlet, which is a fantastic reporter. But Heidi went out on the end and almost lost her job because of our stories. But God bless her, and uh, hopefully we start drawing attention, and please remember that in Adrian's name, too, uh, this was one of the things she wanted to finish out with us, was bringing the Denver Water Department down because of the corruption from the Board of Water Commissioners who are given their jobs through the, the mayor, through Hickenlooper and now through Hancock, the new one. And it's just so much corruption. And like I say, their, their fraud of giving money to upper management exceeds $100 million a year. And you as taxpayers who live in Denver are paying this. We have lead services, we have cement asbestos in the ground yet, and they'll lie to you and tell you it's not there. In fact, I have the plumbers call me up today and tell me that they're still taking lead services out to try to get a majority up so they can try to make us look bad. But see, they don't know that they're friends of ours and will testify in the federal court. So we will need to get this to a Supreme Court. <coughs> the federal court has nothing to do. They tell us that they have no jurisdiction over Denver Water. Uh, Dennis Gallagher, the city auditor, he's part of it. He's part of the corruption. All of them are. City council, we've talked to city council, we've talked to state representatives, they're all part of the corruption. And I just want Adrian to know that we're going to continue our effort and our fight to go forward. And I just wanted to tell the girls that I really got to love them during that time with Adrian because I got to see them grow up for at least five years, especially Sarah and her little friends all the time. And, uh, Freddie, their cat, and their dogs, oh my god. Adrian was just like, oh. She, she had doors for this cat, and he had friends who used to come over and they'd visit, and we'd be talking, and I remember the girls running up and down the stairs, and it was just so much life in that house.